Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've walked from Loo to Talland Bay. <laughs> so for our walk today we've parked here. This is the main car park in Loo. It's called the Millpool Car Park. It's January 2022. It's £2.50 all day at the moment, which is great, but in the summer it's obviously going to be more. Hello, we are in Loo. Quiet Loo. You probably don't see it like this if you visit in the summer. It'd be thronging with people as they won't make their way back and forth to the car park. We're on a... Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, I love Loo. I do too. Yeah, well, great way to start the year, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I think that's probably our first video for 2022. Yeah, we're, the plan is we're going to go up to Hannaford and just take the coastal path towards Talon Bay, see how far we get. Shorter days this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, let's go. To help us grow our channel, please subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon. For our patrons this week, a little extra content, we've uploaded a video about a song that's very dear to a Cornishman's heart. Going up Campbell and Hill, coming down. Lou is on the south coast of Cornwall, near Liscard. The River Lou divides the town into East Lou and West Lou, joined by this beautiful Arch Victorian bridge. Completed in about 1855, it was then widened in 1960. And as you walk under it, you can actually see the drawing of the old and new. The river offers moorings for all sorts of boats, mostly pleasure boats these days, although Loo does continue to be an active fishing port with a busy fish market on East Quay. Today we're walking through West Loo to pick up the southwest coast path to Talland Bay. Let's talk about bridges, Sarah. <laughs> Whenever I think of Loo, I think of the beautiful bridge that you see behind you. Yes. But that's relatively new, isn't it? Yeah, it's about 170 years old, isn't it? It's 1850, like something like that that yeah. went in, wasn't it? Yeah. And this marks the site of the old bridge. Which was pretty much where you are now, looking yeah. across there. So this is point that marks the site of the old bridge and it really confuses me because the bridge shape looks as though it follows the road but was that just the access up to the level where you then cross the river? The island just offshore is known as Lou Island to the locals, although it has several names including St Nicholas's, St Michael's or even St George's. Locally known as Lou Island, it is now a nature reserve. One of our Cornish legends tells us that St Joseph of Arimathea with the boy Jesus came to Lou Island. Although there is no evidence of this, there's certainly been an archaeological dig on the island revealing a chapel at one point. approaching Talland Bay. Walking from Loo, we've always been told this stretch of coast path, very challenging, very hard work. And yeah, there's been steps, but I think there's worse, to be honest. We're still expecting that big hill. <laughs> Might be just around the corner. You never know. Lots of water on the path at the moment. The streams are engorged as they flow down. Had so much rain, and this is the first nice day. So mild, as you can see, carrying all my keep me warm clobber. Oh, it's lovely to be out though. Muddy feet? Muddy and wet, I think. But I think most people have gone to the right. Except our dog. 
He's just walking in the water. <laughs> are you going to follow the crowds like most people then, or are you going to do your I own am thing? I'm going to, yes. I'm going to be the penguin. Okay. Once Waddle on. That's a good idea, using the old gate. <laughs> okay, by not being a lemming and using your brain, you've actually successfully negotiated that. Brilliant. Have you seen those small misses, by the way, as well? Yeah. Oh, I think that's, is that for the dogs? That's for people. Never seen that before. Oh. Is that a farm? <laughs> yeah. Come on farm style thing isn't it? Okay. As we drop down into Talland Bay, it's easy to see why this was formerly a smuggling cove. Tucked away with two gentle, shingly beaches, it was ideal to land contraband during the heyday of smuggling in the 18th and 19th centuries. tiny pieces of glass on this beach. It's really hard because the stones are such beautiful colours they're distracting me. Are you helping me? Not really are you? <laughs> Oh, you found some? Yeah, very, very tiny Ooh. pieces. But look at that. Bright blue, and mainly Beautiful. green. Tiny, tiny pieces. Challenge to use those, isn't it? Oh, I found another one. It's a good find. Isn't it? I know. That's much better than a minute ago. I think our eye is in again there. <laughs> well done. That's Brilliant. Good, yeah, Brilliant. Fantastic. Be able to do something with that. It's a very popular spot for balancing um, the big pebbles, the isn't it? Cairns, yeah. yes. Yeah, I like knocking them over. <laughs> Especially ones I've built. Yeah. Impressive. Not bad. 
First attempt? Yeah. Huh. I don't think it's very stable at the base, so you're not allowed near it. Should we check it out? No! Oh, okay, yeah, it looks more solid than my construction. Well, it's let down here, I think, but yeah. maybe we can... What are you going to call it? Talon Tower. No. Are you ready? I'm going to call it Wonky. The Wonky Tower. <gasps> Staying! Look at that! It's got a lean on it. The Leaning Tower of Talent. <laughs> what do you reckon? I'm, I'm well Look done. at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Still up. Still up. Yeah. We can rebuild. <laughs> we have the technology. Yeah. <laughs> So we are actually looking for another tower, aren't we? We are? Oh, it's a good link. You should be on the one show. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for the church tower. Oh, I don't want to leave my tower now. No! <laughs> Come on. Gate leaning. I think we found the hill. We found a gate. Okay, so first things first, there's a gate, we need to lean on it. Let's lean on gate. Yeah. So, Talon Bay is kind of built in a valley. <laughs> I think it occurred in a valley rather than being built. No, they built it in a valley. They built it in a valley. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, Why didn't they build it at the top of the hill? So, we've walked back to Polpero from Talon Bay and that is steep. Up the road it is. Yeah. I don't think the cliff path is that bad. Cliff path's okay actually. It's mm. a bit muddy, but then you expect that this time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I hate to break this to you, but this steep hill we've just walked up to find the church. It's the way back, isn't it? Well, I don't know, but it's not where the church is. I've just seen the church and it's over the other side. <laughs> Can I cut to your face doing like a funny look? Let me show people where the church is. The church is up there. In the distance, up there it is. So that's where we need to be, Sarah. So that's the tower we're looking for. That's the tower we're looking for, yeah. Uh, we've walked up that hill for nothing. Yeah. We're just going to walk back down it again. Yeah. Oh. Penny's dropped, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get through the gate. How do we get through the gate? Well done. Now you can try. Thank you. <laughs> now, ears up. We're walking through a field of sheep. Be good. Aww. They're so cute. Where's mine? That's a walnut whip. Where'd you get that from? I want a walnut whip. Sarah, you're looking sheepish. As we head up to the church, we will be looking for a smuggler's grave and also tell you a little bit more about an eccentric vicar from the 1700s. This is a nice little book, Sarah. It's called About Lou. Oh, yeah. It's written in the late 1970s. It's a nice passage in here. It says, Cornwall often holds her best secrets to her heart. It is a land of secret places hidden generally from those who confine themselves to bus or motor car. Most of the Cornish magic is reserved for those who walk, and on this walk, Talon Church is something of a beautiful surprise. It stands on the steep westward facing slope, tucked under the brow of the hill. A walker's first glimpse is of the tower alone, and this tower without a church is not an optical illusion because in reality the tower stands alone, linked to the church by a passage. You don't need to read a history book to realise that this was the parish church of Lew West for a long time. The tombstones lining the path tell their own story. The church has its critics, but personally I feel at peace there, enjoying its simplicity and sense of space. Ah, it's like a little porch that connects yeah. the tower to the, to the church. Beams are carved, but just two 
Jesus. Gosh, it looks really old, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's the main churches yeah. through there, then. Yeah. This church is like one of those architecture tricks where you have a small entrance hall and you open up into a big space. It's much bigger than you expect. At the church there is a grave to Robert Mark, a fisherman of Polpero, who it is said was a smuggler. Erected to the memory of Robert Mark, late of Polpero, who unfortunately was shot at sea the 24th day of January. What year? 1802. Oh, where? I've actually got the proper inscription. It's been because it's obviously quite well worn away then, it isn't, is, it? isn't it? In prime of life, most suddenly, sad tidings to relate. Here view my something, divinity, no, destiny, and pity my sad fate. State. Oh, it's all the F's and the S's. The, and the next bit's the important bit. Oh, is it? Yeah. I buy a shot which rapid flew was instantly struck dead. Lord, pardon the offender who my precious blood did let. Grant him to rest and forgive me all I have done amidst and that I may <laughs> rewarded be. It's, it's, it's like, <laughs> it's really, like back to front, isn't it? Done a good job with that. So I've picked up this little guide inside, yes. going to Talon Church. <laughs> Just having a flick through. And it says here that the list of the vicars of Talland is on the wall by the pulpit and actually dates back to 1264. Wow. That's a long time, isn't it? But one of the vicars, the Reverend Richard Doyd, uh, 1713 to 1747, is said to have dabbled in smuggling and to have had the power to drive away the devil. That was weird. Yeah. It's just battery, fully charged battery, which yeah. you've hardly used today. I've hardly used this camera today. It won't even turn on. No. It's got to mention his name, isn't it? The minute you mention his name? Yeah. It's supposed to be haunted. Camera failed. Isn't he the mad priest that used mm. to batter That's the it. gravestones yeah. to kind of... Well, he was meant to be a, an exorcist, wasn't he? Yeah. And command like, evil spirits yeah. to come up and... Well, he's drained your camera battery. Are you sensing him as well? Is he going to drain your battery? Are you going to stop whining then? <laughs> yes! <laughs> It's weird that your battery just completely went, didn't it? Yeah. Because you haven't used that very much at all today, have you? It's no. fully charged. Yeah. Weird. I know. Mm. The story of the eccentric vicar Richard Droyd goes something like this. He would be seen late at night banging the headstones in the graveyards with a stick and shouting, claiming he was driving away evil spirits. People avoided the graveyard at night. But was it all a ruse just to cover up smuggling activities? So our little walk today, it's not actually come from a, a guided walk book. We've just basically picked up the Ordnance Survey, come up to Lou today and walked out to Talon Bay along the coast. So it's relatively straightforward, just following the coast path. Started at Lou, came out to Hannaford. Gorgeous views across to Lou Island there. Come all the way along the coast path. It's about three and a half miles down to Talon Bay. And we're picking the road up here by the church. And we're just going to take the road now and just take our time and walk back to Lou. No. I it's, believe, mm. am I right in saying, I can't get the, can't get my hand there, um, that this is the actual old road Ooh. into Loo. So I believe if we do go back that way, we're falling into Loo, should come out by the Jolly Sailor. That's right, yes. And that's the original road. Well, I think this total walk is about five and a half miles. Right, so it's winter, our days are shorter, we'll just crack on. We're going to crack on, yeah. We've just been following the road, dead straight, a very steep hill at one point, and it's just kind of giving us glimpses of Lou Island in the sea. We've come on to an even more narrow road, hardly used I think because it's got grass in the middle, that 
should just join up with the one that will bring us into West Loo. So back at the church there. Yeah. We obviously successfully found the smuggler's grave. Was we that did. the one you... Yeah. 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 So it's kind of memorialised in the church. I wasn't expecting that. No, I wasn't. I thought it would actually be in the graveyard. Yeah. But I was a carpenter. <laughs> Yeah, so I was expecting it to have a proper tombstone and be in the grassy bit of the graveyard and it wasn't. Yeah, so the unusual thing is they've actually put it inside the church. So they obviously recognise the fact that people want to go there and see it and they, they're keeping it protected, I suppose, by putting it inside the building. A bit proud of it. Right, it's yeah. getting busy now. I think we're going to have to call it a day. No, but just before you click off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pick the busiest spot, I think. The film. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to stop. I think it's safe. <laughs> still here. But if he was a smuggler, yeah, you wouldn't expect him to have the gravestone inside the church. So obviously he wasn't buried no. inside the church. They've taken the stone from the churchyard and brought it inside, haven't they? Yeah. But they're still almost sort of celebrating the fact that he was yeah. a smuggler. But we've also read stories to say that he wasn't a smuggler and he was actually working for the revenue men. Ooh, so intriguing. Perhaps we can read We're those details the out as well. We're going to have to turn off. We're just at the top of Lou. I can actually make out the, I think that's the guild hall now, isn't it, Andrew? Or the, the church? Tower. Yeah, with the clock tower. Just wandering down this wonderful street. Each cottage, each house is unique, isn't it? And beautiful and different. It's a lovely walk, isn't it? Yeah. We've kind of done this as a bit of a recce because it's a walk we want to do sort of in the summer. Yes. And uh, we just come out today just to see what the coast path's like. Because we've never done that stretch before, have we? No, we kind of knew it'd be a shorter video because we haven't got the daylight to do it justice, really. Yeah, have we? and we're trying but... to find a few of the sort of little footpaths and stuff yeah. rather than walking back along the road. So. I think we've come up with some ideas today, so we've had a nice time today. Yeah, and we'll be back for our full-on walk soon. All being well, fingers crossed. We've had a dreadful run of weather. So, <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as we can get out and about, there'll yeah. be more videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Bye. Parking in Lou. Alright, boy. See you later. Alright. Cheers, bye. 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 <laughs> See ya. I can't do it.